Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's a special day, Jamie. Why is it so special, dear? What you got over there? X amount of years ago, you were born and brought onto this great earth. So happy birthday, Jamie! I appreciate you, good sir. Appreciate you. Now, everyone in the chat, birthday, he does accept super chats for the birthday. (laughs) So don't feel obligated, but hey, save the super chats because we got something. We got something to announce, dear. So it's hold your super chats. It's gonna go somewhere. We thought Tirasima uh, was big. This is nothing. That's right. That's right. We got the unveils here on uh, the mm-hmm. Cleaner Cast Keep It Real collab episode. I will mention, yeah, people, you're not having double vision. It's live that's on right. That's right. our favorite Rinseless reviewer, mm-hmm. and it's live on here. Yep. And he's coming on right Wonderful. now. Let's get him on. What's up? Uh, <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. How are you, bro? I am 34 now. Happy birthday Holy to you. Shout out to Mariah. 34 Life. strong years. Yeah, that got you demonetized uh, recently, huh? Old Mariah. Yep. Uh, my brown skin Mariah. didn't save me. <laughs> didn't save you. Dang. I thought That's last weird... week was different. Yeah, so YouTube don't play no more games, huh? You post no. something like that. They, they edit it out for you, huh? 34, Dang. bro. You are. How old are you, doing? I'll be 34 in a couple months. Wow, you're twinsies, same height, same no. age. Look That's at right. you. What? The universe brought us together. Yep. To uh, make this podcast and then challenge you and then make you and JB eat hot wings. That's we we were we were we were talking <laughs> today. Yeah. We were talking today behind the scenes and we're like, you know, our good friend Tony Mazzell. We're like, I don't know if that guy's 22 or 43. There he looks like Harry no Potter. Between. Oh, okay. He Just look like up Harry Daniel Potter. Daniel Radcliffe's age, and then that'll be Tony's age. So Thank you, everybody, for all the birthday wishes. Greatly appreciate it. Before we get into any further, we got some promo codes to promote. You know, Jamie 10, you can use that ethos. That's going to be our uh, promo for uh, this uh, collab that we got going on. Wait till you hear what it is. Eddie got a promo code for it as well. What's your promo code? Right. It's key. I R K key. I can't. Yeah. Our old Lord. It's, it's, <laughs> it's K I R 10. <laughs> I'm, I'm Brian and Dolo because my uh, co host had to. Uh, what what yeah. do you say? I got to work. He had to work. Yeah, I, nasty I, W. I, I got to work. Oh, yeah. Joey had for, to work. So uh, we got half the Keep It Real podcast on today's episode. You know, that's cool, though. You know, it Just is. Just got the Keep it, it podcast. That's all it is. You can review both podcasts over on your favorite podcast channel, Apple, Spotify. Where are you at? You on Apple and Spotify? Where, yeah, I did everything you, even everything know? you said I did. I even, you, what did he say yesterday's on yesterday's podcast? Do you were on, uh, what did you say? Sp- uh, Shopify. <laughs> 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 Says you were on Shopify. Bro, yeah. the, pro- the problem Stitcher, I have with all this- Spotify. Yep. Oh, Walmart.com. <laughs> it's everywhere. So yeah. use that wherever the you know those podcasts. Just try it on every website you go to. You no, know, Jamie 10, K- uh, K-I-R-10, whatever it is. But yeah, you change the promo code every podcast, it seems like. So <laughs> but for this one, it's real special. We're going head to head. And uh with this little collab deal, we got a product that we'll talk about in just a second. And uh Basically, well, I guess we go ahead and talk about the product, lady. Huh, All right, let's talk Big about time. why we did it because people are going to be like, Jamie is becoming the new someone else. And right, it's not why like we that, did right? it. Yep. Let's yep. talk about the why. So, number one, I do want to say this because it's super important. Everyone in chat, KIR10, ethos.com. When we show you what we're about to do, make sure you buy. Super, hey, you. buy and like Eddie Cologne and stuff. All right, KIR10. I don't want my butthole to hurt. Listen, <laughs> well, if I eat hot wings, my butt cheeks will hurt. Like we're gonna make this a little fun. We you decided, guys have to. You okay. guys have to purchase it like Eddie does. Just does the like he's still talking to someone. Add to cart. Done. Don't <laughs> even think about it. Shipping irrelevant. Just do it. <laughs> so hear me out because I think this is important. Me and me and uh, Jamie were talking because Jamie's never used Ethos in his life, and then I dropped one hot video. Jamie's like, "That's Adams." Jamie asked for forgiveness, <laughs> right? You remember? All, this shout, is up, all true. shout up, Uncle Adam. You brought it to, uh, you know, the attention that I was like, maybe I've been sleeping on Ethos. You kind of, mm-hmm. you know, your pursuit of trying every brand and uh, the pursuit of greatness, you, you stumbled upon a, a good one that's been under the radar, I think, for quite some time. We're going to go over that kind of today. And with it, he has a fantastic line of coatings in Ethos. Oh, been blowing me away. All of it. And uh, so we're going to do a coating collab with uh, Tim Coates here, and Eddie, tell him about what uh, coding we picked. 
All right, so there's more story to that. You can't just drop. Oh, there's more story. story. Okay, keep going. Hi, my name is Jay the Cleaner. We're gonna sit right here in this hot, easy day. No, but we're sitting there talking, right? Right, Mm -hmm. Jay, Alex, because you're always late to the party, or you're texting your wife right now, or looking at hockey score. I don't know what you're doing, but focus, Alex. Be present. The NHL playoffs. All right, see. So (laughs) (laughs) this is him. He's like. Oh yeah, yeah. Pan said what? No, but um, yeah. We're Pan. like we really like how Tim is approaching everybody, right? He's super approachable, mm-hmm. easy to work with. Um, I remember one time I I interviewed his like glass cleaner, and then he put it fifty percent off. Like he's mm-hmm. real, he takes it real personal. We're like, how can we brands we like yeah. working with? Exactly, we like small brands who are about the business, aren't mm-hmm. about the fluff. And then Jamie's like, you know what we should do? And then he had this idea of one coating that kind of took us both back. That's yeah. easy to use, right? Because if you use his other stuff like Max, it's a little harder, but easy to use. Um, Not that much harder though. They're, they're no, they're all they're good. Dude. They're all yeah, good. Yeah, they're right, good. dude. They're all good. It's, but we decided to go with easy peasy. Easy peasy. You know, I like to say easy. Everything's easy peasy. You know, it's if it's yeah, that's the products I like to bring to my channel. Stuff that the people can use. Anybody on any level, from enthusiast DIYer to uh, the pro detailer. So we could easily grab. You know, collab with Graphene Max and been like this is the best you know, coat never, you know, get it. But uh, we want to pick easy peasy because it's, like I said, it's uh, easy for, it's a great price point. Anybody Horrible. can use it and Super you're going to get your money's worth. Mm-hmm. Like it's that phenomenal. Do you were pop that picture back up? I ain't done with that picture because this is when I used easy peasy. Mm-hmm. I put it to the real test here on this Kentworth 18 wheeler. And uh, yeah, someone messed up the. the I'm not touching nothing. Do or do. I don't know what <laughs> hockey or I don't know. <laughs> How's it? It's a, it's a over over hat. It. But yeah, I, all right. I, so, so we I got coated this whole truck. It rolled up. You know, it ain't fitting in the garage. So uh, and neither do Silverados. Yeah, so. I gave it three pH wash. <laughs> gave it a clay towel treatment. Deconned as much as possible. And uh, I, I coat. You could coat with this coat, and you can coat half this truck. Then I leveled it all off. Zero problems. Went to the other side. Coated the other half of the truck. Leveled it off. No problems. You saw the water beating because it started raining immediately <laughs> after I finished. It is what it is. But, uh, you know, I put a little top coat on there as well. So it should be fine. If I but, remember uh, correctly, you were tripping with the, the weather because you weren't sure. Yeah. No, it's cause... wild here. It's rainy season. You know, boat coming in to get detailed. It's 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 wild right now here in uh, the swamp detailing. The, the one thing I liked about it too, Jamie, is you did that, right? And I tested his because I thought he was lying. We're, we're, when we bring him out when, when he was... I thought he was lying. He's like, you can leave it on a paint for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. I put it on my Tesla glass. You um, can't mess it up. No, you got you can't mess this coat up because it's easy peasy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's easy peasy. Amazing. So I put it on Tesla glass, waited 24 hours, legit 24 hours, went in, did it, and it just came off. So at that point in time, you, I said it would be cool to support Tim Coates and Ethos. This mm-hmm. is all yeah. we're doing. Yeah, because uh, we're gonna re- when he gets on here, we're gonna recap kind of the early years of Ethos, and I think uh, you know there might have been a couple hit pieces out coming for Tim. So I want to go over that that kind of deal. I think it's time for Ethos to get the recognition it deserves, and I think this is a great collab to get you, it going. Uh, you know what else is cool? Before we get to that, what's that? Dark Horse Detailing. Dark Horse Detailing. Start got that the train. super chat train going. Appreciate you uh, dropping a nineteen ninety nine. Let's check out this box I just got in the mail today. This is uh, priceless right easy. here. I, I'm so you know, salty I'm... about that. Bro, Tim Coates, he didn't even want your stuff in his shop, and he gets stuff first, Tim. I pop, pop this out of yeah. Pop, pop, make me big. How you make me big? There we go. All right. <laughs> there we go. So here we go. You get this Look box. This, this is what this. the collab looks like. Salty. This is the cleaner cast. If it'll focus, let me get out of frame. Open the here. box. Though. That's nice. That's a beautiful box. Yeah, yeah. this box too hard to, to orient here. But yeah, in the box, get you a nice applicator. He uses the good stuff. Ooh. Nice saver applicator there. And in the box, we get... Oh, my... Oh, jeez. What is this? Focus camera. That's a nice bottle. My my cleaner cast. Easy peasy my edition. goodness. And there is a keep it real easy peasy edition. So, there's about 200 bottles of this. 100 for cleaner cast. 100 for keep it real. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Eddie, why don't you tell them why that is? <laughs> All right, so here's what we got going on. This is um I hope Eddie shows his bottle. I, <laughs> 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 got him. Yeah, got him. All right, listen, why are you trolling right now, dude? I got you in a minute. I'm gonna come at you hard in a minute. <laughs> but, I, I won't be able to take it. I'm gonna cry. It's gonna be bad. 
No, just go on your phone, dude. Go look at the hockey score. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So the um, I don't even know what I was supposed to say. I was so upset. What happened? Uh, <laughs> why is there, why is there two? Why did we do two versions All right. All right. of this uh right. project? So here's what we're doing. So we got a podcast versus podcast. We have a hundred bottles each, head to head. Head you to use, head. How they track it is you use our coupon code. So you'll use yep. uh, KIR10 or you'll use Jamie10. Um, when you go to the site, I think we'll show that in a minute. Our our our, co- our uh, coatings there, and the the you know the podcast that sells the most. We're gonna do a hot wings edition of yep. questions and answers and our buttholes bleeding because just that's like hot happens. ones. We're gonna do yep. a hot ones episode. Well, there, there's the demonetized right there. I'll tell you what. But yeah, the losers will come on the winners podcast and uh, eat the spicy wings of death and answer some uh, hard hitting questions. It's gonna be. A good time. <laughs> Ethan wants to know if they are the same coating. Huh? Yes. Okay. They are the uh, exact same coating. It's the easy peasy coating. Yep. The one we tested and one I used on that Kentworth. Nothing's changed. It's got a special edition color. We each picked our color. We designed our, each of our labels and uh, with the help of Tim Coat. So that's kind of the deal, right, Danny? Am I missing anything? Yeah. And then if you buy, if you help the Keep It Real podcast sell theirs, I'm doing a massive giveaway. Hey, I'm getting order numbers. Yo, you're allowed, I'm allowed to say what I want, right? I gotta <laughs> say what you up. want. I only you have want. four thousand subscribers. I love all my subscribers. Love you all, but hear it's me my out. Birthday, by the way. Hey, hear me out. It's his birthday, but hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> if the Keep It Real podcast wins, I'm gonna do a huge giveaway, massive giveaway. If we sell out, if we sell out, Tim, I'm gonna need the numbers of everyone who bought, and it will draw our name. Help a brother not eat hot wings because I hate hot food. I'll die inside, yeah. bro. But either way. You're winning. This coating's at a great price. It's a great yeah. coating. Professionals can use it as their entry level coating. You can coat the whole dang car with it. Come back around, level it. It's gonna speed up your, uh, you know, your entry level coating jobs by far. It's just a great coating. If you're new to coatings, it's the perfect first coating to get and uh, practice with that kind of deal. And without further ado, let's get the man with the plan on himself. <laughs> Tired of us yapping, everybody. Mr. Tim <laughs> Coates from Ethos. Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Look, birthday, dude. Jamie. Thank you, Mr. Tim. Uh, Dewar can't have a high spot edition easy peasy, can he, Tim? Tell us a little bit about the easy peasy coating in this collab. No, you definitely cannot high spot with it. That was the whole design of the coating. We really wanted something that was approachable for anybody. My my benchmark was this, that I could give this coating to my dad or to my mom or someone that's never used a coating before, apply it in their car and not worry about having a high spot so worrying about issues. Um, also not sacrificing performance, too. So it is a genuine ceramic coating. You're going to get up to three years of performance out of it, but not have to worry about the issues that traditional coatings have, like high spots and, and things like that. So, And we did want it to be really you know, applicable in a lot of different environments. So it's got a really slow flash time to it. So like Jamie said, you can apply it to almost you know entire vehicles at a time, wipe away, and then like Eddie saw in, in his tests, you're not going to leave the high spots. So, you know, if you do miss some the next day, you can come by and wipe them off, too. So. It's definitely uh, kind of checks all the boxes for a coating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so developing it, who did you develop it for? Just the enthusiast, everybody, the professional? Yeah. So basically develop for everybody. The The end goal was really tr- try to make a professional level coating that anybody can use. So it applies for someone that has a detail business as well as someone that has um, you know some experience detailing as a weekend warrior or a first time coding uh, application. So mm-hmm. checks all the boxes for someone that you know they have a detail business they want to offer this as an entry level coding or let's say they're a mobile detailer and they have they don't have access to garages they can apply this in the sun or outside. So yeah. um, there's a wide range of people that this coding would apply to and, and work for. So yeah, I mean, I, I think it's straight to test. Uh... Big 18 wheeler in the sunlight. Outside, yeah. <laughs> I threw it down, you know, in the humid uh, Louisiana environment. I had zero problems. Great, great coating. That's awesome. Were, yeah. were you surprised by the application of it? You know, because I know when we had talked, mm-hmm. we'd said that it, the cure time and the flash time was was had such a uh, a length to it. Were you surprised how easy it was to, to use? Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, uh, you, you know, get nervous. You know, all the coatings you work with all the years, you're like, is this going to be real? Is Tim, you know? trolling us all we're gonna have high spots everywhere but <laughs> yeah. zero problems uh you know easy peasy like i like to say on everything and this mm-hmm. is uh it's it's a great name easy for coating, peasy coating. quite honestly it is yeah like, like i said great design with the labels and stuff all that good there's stuff. a and couple I, questions that we have to answer too jay because you did a yeah. whole semi right mm-hmm. you did a whole semi whole can semi, you tell yeah. us more of the cure time um when we hear oh, outside yeah. now question. outside's a big deal because we have jamie's in the swamp I'm inside. So my cure time could be 20, 30 minutes. Jamie, I don't know what yours was, but Tim, can you tell us what cure time is like and what the flash looks like for the people in chat? 
Yeah, totally. So it's going to matter based on temperature and humidity. Obviously, if you're a higher temperature, higher humidity, the codeine is going to flash a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. um, so anywhere, I'd say in, in extreme conditions, your, your quickest flash time is probably going to be closer to 10 minutes or so. Upwards, if you're in a colder climate, low humidity, you can get almost half hour of flash time out of it. So it's wild. Uh, that kind of situation where you have a mid-sized vehicle, you can apply it to the whole car, come back, and it's still going to be rambling, still going to be flashing, uh, ready for you to wipe off. So yeah, and, and flash it just, time that, that, really means like you have to wait for that flash time to wipe it off, right? Mm -hmm. Like correct. It needs at least five minutes. You were, you got a little scared with the before I tested my bottle. You were like, oh, this might be a bad batch. Hold off for a second. Because you yeah. test every batch that comes your way, which is tremendous for a company to do. Walk Definitely. us through uh, that a little bit. Look at look at Eddie here. Look at what he's doing. Hey, take <laughs> it out. <laughs> That's not me. That's me. Hey, hey. You see how he put 99 because he actually already ordered one bottle. For so myself. Yeah, starting for, off with 99 <laughs> to 100. We're already. 99. So, yeah, Eddie is in the lead, you guys. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Eddie needs help. You got 30 million people. I got my squad. Hey, I need people to show up. There, oh, there, the, there we go. Oh, there there's the keep it real bottle. Here you go. Nice. Yeah, so. yeah. And speaking of keeping it real, bro, dizzle, dizzle, dazzle, detailing. Woo! There we Amazing. go. Coming in clutch, my guy. Bought, bought the wrong bottle, Thank but we appreciate much, the 10 bucks. Stop the cat. We appreciate dude. you anyway. Stop the cat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, guess, I guess he's fine. It's because JB can't pronounce his name. That's why he's so excited about him. It's my guy. Look, you got to remember who's going to be funnier eating them hot wings, too. I mean, this guy over here <laughs> sweating. <laughs> Oh my Come gosh, on. Lord! Get this guy sweat. You don't want to see me and do her sweat. You don't want me to sweat because <laughs> I'll sweat out of my butthole. Dude, Eddie, and my <laughs> it's gonna be like Eddie, Eddie's gonna have to have a Klein around his. You've neck seen him rinse this wash, and he takes the hat off, and steam is coming off the man's head <laughs> in his YouTube video. What do you think it's gonna be like when he starts eating these hot wings? That's what I want. And those hot wings are hot, man. That's hot sauce. Is no joke. It's, it's not. No we're joke. not skimping. Yeah. It's not Tabasco. We're putting on these hot wings. Yeah, we. The we culture. Might, You've heard the culture, yeah. <laughs> Listen, guys, down. please, please, if you love me, if you love me, <laughs> if you love me, do not do this to me because I promise I'm not going to let JB just eat it itself. Me eating hot wings is like me running a marathon. I'm going halfway and I'm dying. Okay? <laughs> you drop off, you drop off, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you drop off. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, here's some of the graphics on the website. Um, and it's under the same... Um, I think the same link, and then yeah, you just yes. have to select your bottle. Same link um, takes primarily you to both bottles. Yep, got the and, link below um, in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. It's there. I mean, yeah. easy application, man. Poly polymer xylazine. xylazine. Yep, man, that's, that's a mouthful. Yep, yeah, just like Eddie's happened. gonna have a mouthful of hot wings here in a little bit. So. Oh, <laughs> since you left me, that's but how yeah, Tim. You guys back to uh back to application. You gotta yep. wait the five minutes, wait for the flash time, and then it's ready. Kind of explain that kind of deal yeah so you definitely don't want to wipe off too soon you know because yeah. I, I think there's there's some misconception out there with codeines when you're applying it at the surface it's actually a, a, a achieving chemistry it's cross-linking and bonding to the surface so if you are wiping it off too soon before you have enough you know co covalent bonds forming on the coating you could actually you know weaken the performance of it so mm -hmm. the biggest tell is going to be in the rainbow in effect you know the coating is going to give you or listed a really big rainbow when you first apply it but it's going to start to fade and once that rainbow pretty much almost fades and turns to a haze it's ready to wipe off so that's why we give such a big reference or range for the the flash time because environments are going to change applications going to change a bit but it's more the kind of you'll, you'll see the first time you use it it's really going to be you know it's a pleasure pretty clear when it's you a pleasure it's a pleasure to you but can i yeah. pull this comment up because i feel mm -hmm. like i can't i can't be aaron I, do I want to win? I can't sell out. I can't. But I do love opting to trash. Does that count? <laughs> nope. All right. You're gonna have to and and, and just a reminder. G. So just a reminder for people, you do have to use the code for the respective bottle. And that's a, a, the best way to track it for them. helps us track things too. And this yeah, is going to be yeah. these hundred bottles of each are only going to be the only ones ever made. So we're not going to do this again. Mm. It's really a limited time thing. So mm. I, I have a, a bottle I'm putting on my shelf and it's going to be something where I'm, I'm keeping them both. So it's <laughs> yeah. Kind of that's right. yeah. If you haven't used an ethos coding, like this is the great, uh, you know, jumping point and uh, it, they're just pleasure. They're just such a pleasure to use all the coatings I've been using. I uh, tried the graphene pro, like even it's like so easy, so slick, so nice. Just great coding lineup you got. And that brings me to uh, the early years of Ethos, man. Mm. I went back because I remember, uh, mm -hmm. you know, what turned, you know, what kept me away from the brand so long was uh, this early video came out. You came out with the graphene coating. 
kind of hitting the market running with that. You still got the graphene coatings because you still believe in the science, that kind of deal. And I think they're proven to be great coatings. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, whatever, whatever you think about it, I, it's not just magic pixie dust. Tim does his uh, work in the backgrounds, does his testing. If he says it improves the coatings, I 100% believe him that it improves the coatings. So this takes me back three, four years ago. Dewar, pull it up. This video came out, and it, this is a very good video. So I don't want to, you know, get it twisted. This was a really good video. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. uh, my comment from, you know, three or four years ago is probably still there. And this is a Chicago Auto Pros release. No, get coding to the Dr. Beasley guy's line to everybody. It's it's right. it's PTSD, <laughs> man. Every time I see this video. <laughs> I was uh, going to ask, does this video, you know, kind of give you some triggers here? Yeah, you know, I mean, they, the fact that they remove all of our comments and, and uh, some of the background of everything that happened in that video, it definitely doesn't leave me warm and fuzzy. You know, yeah. how, the, how it happened from the start wasn't a cool situation. So... Mm -hmm. Um, I don't believe the test was unfair, but I definitely right. now in hindsight, seeing that, you know, the, the representative that represented G technique at the time is now a business mm -hmm. partner of his, that there maybe was some, some, yeah. you know, uh, bias there. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it was unfortunate, but it, you know, we were one of the first, or I think we were the first consumer graphing code on the market. So I, I mean, we were faced with the most uh, controversy because we were the first ones out there and, you know, tip of the spirit mm -hmm. gets bloody in that effect where it's just, I guess comes with the territory, but I, I guess I was, I wasn't, you know, I, it was a little frustrating for me to, to, to face that kind of controversy because I did believe in the science and believe in the product. Mm -hmm. And I think it turned a lot of people away from the coding that, that potentially would have really saw the benefits of it that never got a chance to. Yeah. Like this part was weird to pick you was weird. out of, you know, I don't know why you were such a target, I guess, because you were the main graphene coding going, at the time but did you feel like this was almost like a hit piece yeah definitely i think because i know i've known jason arterness from our time as modesto installers back in the day so i thought we had a pretty right. cordial relationship um but just early on in the start of the film and the video um and some of the things that were said back and forth and some of the stuff that was going on behind the scenes i had a feeling it was it was not from a genuine place of trying to find transparency and truth and more so of trying to get views and create controversy on purpose in order to drive the traffic i mean i think this is one of his top top videos because of it is controversial, you know, it's going to get people in the comments. Right. It almost has a million that. views. It's one of the bigger videos he's yeah. ever done. And it really is a fantastic video. It's a good watch, but yeah, watching it back three or four years later and knowing like, I know how good your stuff is and hearing what kind of everybody says through the video, especially when they talk to, you know, Jim from Dr. Beasley's and it's the seventh most viewed video on the channel. Yeah, so, there you go. It, and yeah. I think it's the newest in that top 10 or something, too. It's the, mm -hmm. the, the most recent. So, can I say something on this? Yeah. Go ahead. Because here, here's the thing, right? I, um, if you add, I'm just a question for the chat. Question for chat. Mm -hmm. If you add um, Kool Aid inside of water, but don't mix it right, what do you get? So, if I add a little bit of Kool Aid powder inside of a water, but don't mix the right amount or start the chemistry with it, what, what do I get? Does, can anybody help me out? Water you get just Kool-Aid, right? You don't have the right ingredients. Yeah. My guy, my guy decided what whatever his name is, he did this, right? He takes the <laughs> bottle, right? And I love Jason. It wasn't Jason, it was the other dude. No, no, yeah. He takes the bottle and he starts dropping black. He dropped the, the magic pixie yeah. dust. And yeah. he does this and he shakes it like that doesn't do nothing. That but if you look at the video going back, mm -hmm. Tim explains that the ROGO is mm -hmm. actually incorporated inside of it, causing that polymer yeah. linking or that linking between the graphene and the other things. So I feel like I yeah. love Jason. It was a dope video, but Dr. Beasley's dude this is a good video. was Cap. Cap! Cap, yeah. yeah. That, look, Cap that one, was... he's the one with a 25-year coat on his website that has failed on Rick's uh, <laughs> car <laughs> in six months or less. So who's what just really happened there? Oh, oh, my <laughs> God. What just happened there? <laughs> oh, oh, you got your Lord. nose, bro. <laughs> oh, I just choked on water, bro. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> well, so, why don't you're going to be choking on milk before, when you're eating hot no. wings. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Right. Figure out graphing. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. 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 a misunderstanding that. is – is that I, I and I was trying to explain in that in the, in the interview a couple of times that mm -hmm. it's we're not just adding powder to a to a formula mm -hmm. it's really not going to yeah. do anything it's not going to bond without a bonding mechanism the the powder graphene does nothing you know and um, it's still continuing to be kind of repeated in that sense and then never really stuck you know no pun intended oh so. I just got like nipple juice on my shirt <laughs> but listen let's talk about Jeez. Dr Beasley's because I feel like we got to bring some things up 
Hey, you're not allowed to say anything, Tim, because you are, you know, that, that'd be shade. Don't say anything. I'll take let's the hit, Tim out I'll take the hit here. Let's <laughs> hey, let's, Tim, don't say nothing because you, you got to keep but your brain. Tim, you got to be above that. You got to be no above one can that. clip this. Yep. All right. Yep. Everyone, us three in chat, everybody in chat. I've watched Ragaraz's video. Ragaraz done washed that, vid that vehicle don't, don't every bring smoke Canadian. under the sun. <laughs> <laughs> look, he, look, dude, we're left high spots on that dang coat and trying to make it thick the enough. The high to spots last. are gone. The coating <laughs> is gone. The, the gone. Beating is gone. There ain't might... a soap in the world that can save that coating. And then here's the I, funny I, I, part I, about all that. They say this, and this is what's weird, right? Because now you got to be held accountable because mm -hmm. you're saying some wild stuff. A coating that says they're hydrophobic, okay, maybe it doesn't last the whole 30 years, right? Mm -hmm. I'll be 60 before I like, you need to coat that car again. <laughs> um, the car be in the junkyard. The junkyard, right? It's like 100 million miles. But look, he washed it one time. It degraded like my neck does in the sun after the heat hits. I smell like a chicha wrong, right? He washed right. it again. Then he started asking for help. And then we're <laughs> laughing because I'm like, acid wash, real wash. It the coating was cheeks. Five days of just hard cheeks. Let's let's like. I, I think I, we I send a, a bottle of Easy Peasy to Dewar. He yep. goes to the Rad's <laughs> Rad Garage, and I think Easy Peasy holds up better than the twenty five year coat. If you being, if I'm being I, I put money on. It. I bet my I put money on. on. Yep. Let's so, have a moment of silence for twenty five years. So if Rick I, tunes uh, in, you know Rick, <laughs> you never know when Rick's gonna tune in or not. That's the challenge. And let us know if you want some Easy Peasy on that mode. I uh, yeah, let's get Tim back. I, I, I may have I may have to go up and help him again because you know I think he appreciates the uh, the assistance and, and yeah. Do or this one won't take you two days to install. Mm -hmm. It no, won't take my, you my back won't hurt shoulder, shoulder. Back. Like, yeah, no stress. No. Yeah, no fuss, and it's and good perform. It's not gonna wash off in a in one wash. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <it's, laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I think Rick would have been a lot more upset if if Chris didn't hook him up with it because otherwise he'd be. He'd be calling out. They treated like, there, there was a, they treated our a, boy right, right? Yeah. They did did him good. So. I mean, there's nothing more disappointing though. I mean, the coating, the process to get to your car to a state to where you can coat it is so laborious. It's so time consuming. Mm -hmm. And so then, you know, you would have been better off putting a wax on there or a sealant, you know. And it's like it's mm -hmm. just it's it's painful to to not have someone perform like you expected to. Well, to then go or have to go around the vehicle three, four, five times to layer this, you know, supposedly super juice. thick coating on, and then. You know, it's already dying over there. I mean, what uh, just yeah. waste of time. And here's so. the wild part about that. And this is me. I look, I am trying not to uh, troll any company anymore. I'm, I'm turning a new leaf in my life, right? I'm mm -hmm. going from Grumpy Bear to Lionheart. New, new year, all, new me. I'm, I'm just trying to be doer. I'm just trying to love everybody. That's right. But when you make <laughs> false claims, yeah. when you become like CNN, my guy, or you make some false 25 years. We're coming for you. You're gonna get you're gonna get Lynch, Targaryen, Fire, Iron Throne. We're 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 doing things. You're coming, you're coming right. for the blood, yeah. Yeah. And look, look, they like they made the video three or four years ago. You know, we've tested all the coatings, this kind of deal. So it's time for uh, you know, some some retaliation. And it was so. perfectly done, like David's saying, like everything. Like you we used instructions, yeah. I I mean, yeah. I, I almost mistook NSP forty five for a bottle of suntan lotion. No, they, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> They even put two layers of the little spray spray coat yep. and order all that then, good stuff. Yeah, that 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 was so weird because like because he's like, yeah, we have to do this first, and I'm reading it. I'm like, okay, and like that took a while, you know. And then there was the coating afterwards. <laughs> Shoot, so I like, had to go to sleep after that. Yeah, I'd take a nap and come yeah. back the next day. And put the I went ahead. I went ahead. I went ahead and ordered the most expensive thing on the menu, and then crashed. So yeah. he got he got the four for one wings. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and man. this is what's crazy. Can you talk to me as a as a? You can't say names because you got to keep above board. As a company, you don't want to talk bad about other companies because then the chat goes wild. Let me do it for you. I'll take it for you, right, Papi? All right. So, oh, let me ask you. Snap. Rat, Ooh, rat, get on. Hey, there he is. Hey, rat, this guy, Rad. We're talking Somebody about your coding. I'll, your I'll, I'll send Rick the link and see if he hops on. That's right, Rick. We got you a new coat and to put on. Tell him. Tell him, Jamie. Get him. Get him. Look, we got Jamie the... ten. Look at that. We're gonna send you a bottle. Mm -hmm. This is uh, you know, you don't you won't take two or three days to apply it to your vehicle, and I guarantee you'll have better 20 results minutes. with an entry right. level coating from they because... got fun little scents to them too. They're each, each oh they do color and scents. What, yeah. what does keep it real smells like? Like Puerto Rican. Don't be sniffing the coat. Lime. It smells it's like, like a margarita. Ooh, okay. what's mine? And then you have berry. Oh, berry. We like berry. No, he doesn't. Nice. You saw <laughs> 
Hey, Tim, he was a supporter. You saw him, Tim? He was like, Barry, oh, this Look, guy. As long as it ain't cherry. Hey, there's only a couple yeah. solvent-based uh, That'll work, you, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, otherwise it just destroys, so. Can I ask a question, though, about coding layering? So um, mm -hmm. I, what I'm hearing about in, in, oh, in other companies is that they want layers, right? So yeah. they want to call it building or building a coding up. Mm -hmm. What's your thought on that fake claim? Like, do you believe that you should have to put a paint coding builder, uh, panel prep, uh, you know what I'm talking about? You're hearing these yeah, things yeah. where build the coding up. Yeah. What value does that really bring instead of, instead of wasting my time? It's not. I, I, I never really understood why companies are saying anything more than two layers. Um, mm -hmm. Even two layers, the first layer, you get 95% of the performance out of it. The second mm -hmm. layer, just like you're painting a wall, it's really going to be for uniform coverage. Right. You're not really adding thickness. Um, and the coatings are really not going to perform based on the thickness of the coating, but and the adherence of it to the substrate and to the surface. So... But coating's not properly bonding and cross-linking to the the paint plastics wherever you're applying it to, then it's not going to perform, no matter how thick it is, no matter how you know resinous or how active the coating actually is in, in mm -hmm. the point. So I personally, I most of the jobs I do, I'm doing one layer on. Um, yeah. And our, our top tier package here in my detail business, we'll do two layers just so that we're doing uniform coverage. But I mean, you're like I said, you're getting 95 percent of the performance out of one layer. So these these brands are saying three, four, five plus layers or multiple steps. I don't really see the advantage of it aside from maybe there being some oversteps in the chemistry side to make up for in, in additional applications. But coatings, good coatings shouldn't be hard to apply. And I, I think that's the technology has come so far now that it doesn't have to be difficult. You don't have to fight it. It's, it mm -hmm. should still perform. It still but why good. are they selling this then? Like as a, as a manufacturer of coatings, right? In a company, I talk to Jamie about this all the time and it's frustrating. Mm -hmm. We Jamie works in the sun. I, hey, everyone who works in the sun, I love you, and you are built different. <laughs> Tough work, man. Right, you're built. Yeah. You are built different. You are a better detailer than I am. Especially you understand remote. how to. Yeah, dude, and especially in the swamp. If you're doing it in the swamp, you're like you walk out because Jamie gets pissed during the summer. So I don't talk to Jamie between August don't and tell September. <laughs> yeah. He is grumpy. Like he's got the right, Alex, right? Alex, he's grumpy, right? Just, it, well, he, he got the so, hat, so he doesn't like you know get extremely your head. They got the hat, and you got the freaking like I can't imagine being that sticky. When I just like, you All go outside, you know, yeah. it's not like you're outside for an hour. Like it's probably instant, instant, instant stick. It is. Yeah. So yeah, I just yeah. appreciate you and your. I appreciate ADS DIY. Mm -hmm. I know they they sell the stack, but you have one on yours called like the top layer where you sell Max with Easy Peasy. You're yeah. just saying that if you want, because Max is real chemical resistance, is super hard yeah. coating, right? So yeah, if you want probably. the slickness, put Easy Peasy on it. You don't have to. Uh, same Correct. thing with the stack. What I don't want is car uh, ceramic pro Tim. You can't mm -hmm. talk bad about them. You're a company. All right, ceramic pro um, gold package is ninety layers, bro. Who wants to put ninety layers on? Time versus yeah. dollars. I lost money. My money's gone. It's tough. And, and plus, Speak hold on. Let's put bump ten of Tim out of here. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And plus, <laughs> this is like then the, they take the, over your brand. Like you see, ceramic pro. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like you lose your brand. You get you're wasting time putting all these layers on. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just not. And I, I no. will bring this one up, John Jay. Not sure what he's talking about with the Dollar Tree, but that's my boy. No cap, dude. I see the stuff with the Dollar, Dollar Tree. Tree. That's my boy. <laughs> Heck yeah, we appreciate <laughs> nice. the ten bucks, John. Yeah, go get easy peasy coat, and you know you can. Uh, Rick's, Rick's ten Rick's times less the price. We, uh, I'm excited. And, uh, I think we want to get Rick on. Hey, bring him on. We'll see what he's got to who, say. Who bring him on? Right? Right? Ask him about Japan. <laughs> bring him right. Japan, all that good stuff. I don't yeah. want to hear about Japan. I want to hear about his latest watch because it's yeah, yeah, yeah. flat earthers. But I bring forgot to talk about this giveaway. We're doing oh, a giveaway yeah. at the end of this episode. The graphics Give away your Pro Amex card and easy glass kit. Mm -hmm. So for everybody who's already placed an order, you're entered. You are you are ready to go. So if you are go ahead and place an order with our promo codes, get the limited edition collab. You're entered to win this Graphene Pro and Easy Glass Kit. Tim is going to pick a winner at uh, you know the 59 minute mark before yep, we go off the podcast. Air. Well, we'll pick someone that that orders, and uh, yeah, you get to get a whole Graphene Pro and our Easy Glass and Kit. Easy Glass, man, can't beat it. What a Tom pleasure! Ball. Can I can I Again. give away something? Can I give away something? You can do whatever sure. you want, sir. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to give away. Uh, keep it real, easy peasy. Uh, I'm gonna order it right now. I'm gonna use my. Nah, you've already bought it. You already <laughs> one, one, one person's gonna get Listen. 52 bottles here. This is but, the story of a girl. All right, go ahead. You can buy I'll, one. I want right. to do a giveaway. I want to do a giveaway. Um, this is this is a question I want to ask in chat. Okay. Um, what? What? Okay, this is a good question. A good question. What did Jamie call his latest two pH wash? What two chemicals oh, did he use baby. in his Ooh, last video? Baby. And you get an easy peasy. You just email me. I'll order it tonight. Send it to you. 
It was on his. It was on his channel. All that matters. It, See that nice shirt. Rapping. You can get that shirt at uh, fakedetailer.com. Very Go nice shirt. Too. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Going back to the you know that that early video. Did that make things hard for you? Like those early years. Yeah, it made me out? for sure. I mean, it, it took a big impact on our our business, our customer base, and also just trying to get out there in terms of like, you know, outreach on the YouTube and on and media and stuff. It, it was hard to, to, to trust in, in collabs and to work with people because it really, you know, we thought it was a really good product and to see some of the backlash of people that never even used it saying bad things about it. It was, it was not a fun thing to go through. So yeah. And uh, did, did a real good, like the best job that we could and, and kind of damage control and coming out and talking about the science behind it and all that stuff. And mm -hmm. a lot of our customers obviously were, were really receptive of it, but I think people kind of take things at, at first glance and sometimes just write off entire segments of, of the market or businesses. And, um, you know, I think, you know, hindsight is 2020. People have come and see now every brand pretty much out there as graphene and and see the benefits of it. So I think it's been proven that it wasn't, uh, you know, the most genuine, you know, video to, to come from. But, uh, yeah, it's been definitely a process to come back from that for sure. How did it impact your business? Because you went silent. You went uh you know what you remind yeah, me of? You were like Gandalf. Yeah. yeah. You went Gandalf in the pit and came back Gandalf the white. Like what happened yep. here? Cause you just, you left. I haven't seen you. Yeah. It, it was cause I mean, being the public eye, I mean, there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes. We were getting a lot of, a lot of emails and just kind of like hate mail from a lot of people saying we're, we're charlatans and snake oil salesmen and just discrediting all the, all the hard work that goes into making a new, new technology. I mean, that, that graphing coding version one was blood, sweat, and tears of, you know, almost 18 months of hard work building it from nothing. I mean, there's no other, no other, you know, thing that we could pull from. It was really a ground up approach. And then to have it uh, kind of criticized and pulled apart and, and defeated, it was, it was tough. So I figured, okay, I'll just work on the, work on the back end. I might do what I can do best is make good products and stuff on the back end and stay out of the public eye until, you know, the brands become more mature and people want to, you know, trust it and want to give it a, little bit, a second glance. So. I think it's, hey, um, yeah, it definitely went in the house, dropping the bombs. <laughs> Ooh, dang. So Eddie, Eddie, I, I got your, I, I got your giveaway winner. I don't know if we want to pop it up now, but who yeah. we are going to pop in is Ricky Bobby. Woo! Hey, Rick. welcome Rick. to the podcast. Rick, how oh, guys, I wasn't ready for this. What's happening? <laughs> how you doing, oh, buddy? Nothing much. I'm so, doing good, Tim. Good to see so, you. So you shout out to Gully's good. Garage, first of all. What's shout out again? to Gully's Garage. Yep. Gully's oh, garage. Oh, okay. I, everything I well, I old gully a lot. Yeah. yeah. Good to see you all. Good dude. Good to see you. So Rick, what we went over earlier was uh early in Ethos's uh kind of career, you know, Chicago Auto Pros released a video. It had like, you know, yeah. G Technic, it had like a uh, comparison with CSL, it had Dr. Beasley's, you know, GM on there talking about graphene, that kind <laughs> of deal. And then you've recently had uh, you know, your trial run with Dr. Beasley, and then they tr they treated you right. He had a good time, took you to Chicago, all that. Look who decides oh my. to join. Joey. Now we're, Part now we're cool. here. <laughs> That's a party. Anyway, so Rick, tell us your experience with, uh, you know, the Dr. Beasley's coating and how it's going and all that good stuff. Well, I'll tell you, today my car is super clean. I went to the final Flames game of the season last night. And I celebrated by washing my car first. The car looks amazing, man. Like for 140,000 kilometers or 85,000 miles, my car looks amazing. And especially with no coating on it. Maybe it came for one reason. Maybe it came for one reason. Well, um, yeah, like I, it, it, it comes down to the hydrophobics. I've always been a little lackluster, but honest to God, the car looks great. Um, mm -hmm. I think I was a little derelict with uh, my maintenance of the coating. I disagree. I, I disagree. No, Rick. hey, time out, Rick. I love you, and I have mad respect for you because you never shoot people who's done for stuff for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take you out of chat for a second because I don't want to take the kids. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't want to take the kids. Here we, we go. Oh, Rick, we keep Rick pure. What yeah. Rick is saying yeah. is hot trash. He didn't say it. <laughs> He's saying it's, 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 <laughs> it sucks. All right. The question I have for Rick then, are you recoding your car? Or do you love yeah. it too much? Okay. Well, I love I love new products, and uh, I've never really had a coating for too too long. So Tim and I were talking not too long ago, and uh, I think him and I have a pretty cool idea for a video collaboration. I envision okay. doing a Zoom one on one with Tim and asking him questions, and then having the footage kind of of me actually applying the Ethos Graphene. I think it's the two right. 
Yep. Yeah, so they were talking to the version two or doing the max, one of the one of the two. Yeah. So I just, you know, this is a hobby for me and meeting guys like Tim and meeting guys like you, that is paramount. Uh, meeting people like Chris Ricana and Jim and Dr. Beasley's like, yeah, it's, a blast. it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's been a year, Alex, you were there when we put the Beasley's coating on, we had so much fun doing that. I could care less about the coating. It's more for me about the experience, but yep. there's an opportunity. I work with Tim. We put ethos on there for a year and see what happens. And then maybe even by then I'll have a new car. I don't know. We'll, I'll tell you uh, what's going to happen. I'll tell yeah. you what's going to happen. You want to hear the recap? I'll give, give you the, the recap. recap. Give them the um, you're gonna wash your car the first time. You're like, oh, that's what beating looks. That's like. That's what a real coating looks <laughs> like. Huh? <laughs> you're gonna be like, oh, that's what beating looks like. Not like, oh my lord. Like the craziest thing that I feel bad about is that you take a lot of time to film your videos. You take right. time to wash your car, and the, the look you made like that, doc, like yeah. that. Teach the, that look. Like what's happening? Like you even, <laughs> I, I, I felt horrible about that, and it was three days, and then you had to deal with Dewart. Laying on your ground. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. You, were, you had you were there camping. Yeah. <laughs> you treated him yeah. nice though. I think you took him. I, I you will get him out a lot faster this time. I, I will say faster, though, yeah. um, Calgary is some of the worst conditions for a coating. Worst or best, however it's you want to put it. The perfect test yeah, right? winter, winter is tough for the sure. Most, yeah. I mean, yeah. like Calgary's just nasty. So yeah, I'll I, say I'm, um, I'm not just I'm not just blowing smoke here, but mm-hmm. the first ethos graphene I did on the black RS5 belonging to my friend Dave. Mm-hmm. he was not even nearly as uh, pedantic about maintaining his car as I would be. Yeah. So I had it more than a year later. Mm-hmm. And you've, I think people will have seen that video. It's kind of a couple, it's probably a year or two ago, but that, mm-hmm. that graphene coating held up better than any coating. So, so you've had Calgary. experience with ethos before as well. I didn't even know that. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, Tim and I go way back. Oh, nice. And <laughs> nice. you guys oh, yeah. were just talking about this, Tim, you took so much crap. Yep. When you came mm-hmm. to market. It was so unfair, I felt. Um, charlatan, mm-hmm. fake oil spa- salesman. I was like, oh, this poor guy. Like, you, <laughs> you're a genuine guy who has a genuine passion. Yeah. And-, and he's sexy, dude. Have you seen him without a shirt on? <laughs> guy's sick. <laughs> he's jacked. The guy's yeah. sick. Like, I oh, want yeah, to be like, that's supposed to be private between you and I. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, I'm leaking. Now who's I'm, leaking? Eddie's I'm I'm yeah, and, and going to leak the pics. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but speak, speak, yeah, before yeah. before we get too invested, I want to give a big shout out to Cars of Kiev. Twenty bucks. Time to start the RODI. Yeah, about Jamie, that time, Kiev. I appreciate you. Yep. Appreciate and you. not to be overdone, Master Woo! Fifty dollars super chat. Yeah. Comment for Tim. Dang. Seeing the brand on you know, the podcast versus the way the brand presents the social media ads, and even the website seem very different. Social media ads do seem like the sketchy. Not so you do have some sus ads. <laughs> <laughs> what is good? Yeah, I Explain mean, explain us those ads. For, for sure. sure. It's They're two, hilarious. two different types of environments. Like I much prefer this long format conversation because we can explain yeah, and sure. personality comes out, genuineness comes out. When you're when you're you know competing for ad space on a platform like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or Google, I mean you have to stop the scroll and you're competing against all these other TikTok short form real mm-hmm. type content. In right. order to have any type of profitability in the ads, they have to be in that sort of sense to where they capture your attention and they're, they're fast acting and you know, they convert. So i uh, just based on testing. That's what really has worked in those ad spaces. If we, if we really come from a more professional um, like longer format approach, it's just, it's not profitable. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Right. So it as much as I'd like to go out and say, these products are really good and that yeah. here's, here's me applying to the car. It's not the average consumer that's such that's, that's scrolling on on instagram or facebook are not going to stop on that ad and click on it and then learn more so my perspective is at least you know there's i'm competing against the f11s and yep. the uh the yeah. hydro style all these other companies that aren't good products if i can mm-hmm. capture customers and actually provide them with good products and yep. it's a win you know that's so, what i was about to say yeah. and when you get that bottle of resist you're actually getting a freaking you're actually an quality hard product, hitting exactly. product yeah so one and I, I am aware it does potentially turn off some customers that see that and maybe have those perceptions. And and it's unfortunate and we're looking at ways to kind of create you know a sense of, of both you know, sides of it. But it is just something where those spaces are, that's basically what seems to work on those ads. Nice. My Flat favorite flash. is the one where you're holding the big glowing ball of graphene. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, look like, you look like Thanos. <laughs> the mystery, yeah. Yeah, and it's really, I mean, that the on the ad side, I mean, we have at any given time two different 200 different types of creatives going on. 
testing. So just different, different hooks and different offers and all that stuff. And it just, a whole system of what, what works in it. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes changing the, the title or adding some funky stuff like that or music or whatever else is what, um, what, what works. But end of the day, the products, the quality is going to be there. And it's just us finding ways to get new people to approach the brand and try stuff. And, and based on a reorder rate and what we're seeing from, from our customer base, it's people love the stuff. You know, we, mm -hmm. I can count on, on both hands, the amount of returns we ever had in their entire business. I mean, people, people buy the products, they keep them and they buy more and, and, uh, it's, it works. Hey, real nice. quick, I, I gotta I gotta tell everyone something. I love everyone, Rat Garage. It's good to see you, man. Tim, I love you. I made a commitment to my wife. That's why I'm dressed up sexy. Yep. You look good. I'm you're out good. like Oprah on a big tan. All so, right. Tell Bev we say hello. KIR10, KIR10. Help the help the keep a real podcast win. Look, I'm JB's out. here now. So all right, we'll see, see you later. Eddie. Appreciate you. See you, buddy. See you, Eddie. And so, uh, we didn't we didn't forget about it before I get too invested. Um yep. Eddie <laughs> leave it to Eddie to do a giveaway and then not bring it up. Oh, right. <laughs> so the winner was Brandon Nixon of Brandon Frost Nixon. Crystal Wash. So Congratulations, Brandon. Sir. We'll please uh, message him. Yeah, please reach out to Eddie. <laughs> um, use code Jamie10 on any purchases yeah. you do, yeah. and yeah, uh, that's do that. Got, so. Do that. Continue yeah. on. But Rick, you so you're thinking about using a? I'd like to see the Graphene Max go on that bad boy. Yeah, I think that would be pretty well, cool. Be if you were out there, yeah. Well, here, my, here's my vision, right? Alex comes up from, I can't remember the name of the town he lives in. It's Lethbridge. Like, Lethbridge, <laughs> right? Yeah. Lethbridge. And then maybe we even get Gully to come out from, I can't remember the name Ooh. of that province. Desert Saskatchewan. Uh, that's <laughs> right. But, but Tim's the mastermind. Tim knows the situation. He knows I love my car. He knows it's a daily oh. driven winter yep. uh, war wagon. He sends up everything we need. Mm -hmm. um, right. Right. And then we open it, and then we all have talked to him about specifics and some tips and pro tips and things like that. Yeah, he lays out the plan for you. It all comes together, and people will need a bit of an attention span because this is probably going to be, you know, a, it's definitely a long-form video. But maybe yeah. what we could do is practice. Uh, I need to start creating some YouTube shorts and, you know, mm -hmm. more effective reels. And I know, Jamie, you've been talking about that, like, and you're doing a great job of that. And this could just be the summer where not only do I coat the car with a new product, but I get back to uh, working with Tim. I get Alex out of the house because he doesn't get out. <laughs> got to get Alex out. No, house. maybe we, we get Sean here because I know he feels left out. He does. He's, I always feel so bad for him. You know, every time something happens, he's like, mm -hmm. thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I would have come. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. That, no, that would be an epic Canadian collaboration. Oh, man. I don't know where you guys are going to stay, though, because you're not both staying in my <laughs> <laughs> Look, this yeah. is going to be this, this is going to go by fast. So especially with yeah. three of y'all. So they, they, they can go home same day. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. With this uh, with this uh, knock it out. Pretty quick. But yeah, Tim. So uh, graphene max. Why is it max? Explain a little bit what that coating's got going on, because you've been telling me some hard hitting uh, test results from it. And I'm, I'm yep. looking forward to testing that one. I haven't tried that one yet. Yeah, so our Graphene Max is really our top of the line, most durable product. I really wanted something that that we were playing around with in the background that you could apply to any type of application and would just perform no matter what. So mm -hmm. it was originally intended for really high, you know, use applications, industrial uh, applications, wheels, brake calibers, that kind of thing. And we noticed our customers were applying it to the daily drivers and getting phenomenal results with it. So. Mm -hmm. Um, it really is going to be your max performance, max resin activity layer there it is. Um, possible out Ooh. of a graphene coating. And, and that really is my color scheme. Yeah, I'm a sucker for everything. red and black. I like it. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of the aggressive. We want something that's just really like this is a mic drop when it comes to the world of coating. It's nothing, right. nothing the market is going to compete with it in terms of durability, performance. And I'll, I'll, I'll put it against anything that's out there. Dang. Jamie, will, Jamie will probably say it's honey. <laughs> now, Tim don't make honey coatings. It's, it's easy makes, to apply. I mean, this I think is easier than most consumer coatings. I think it's in terms of oh, wow. wild. It's, it's not. It's not going to be difficult at all. So, and Tim, is it, there anything special required with the prep process to get to the coating? No, I mean we do recommend obviously using our detox uh, panel prep, but mm -hmm. aside from that, just you know treat it like a normal coating. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. full decon wash, uh, you know, light polish, that kind of thing. We do want to make sure if there, you know, whatever coating's left on there, we want to properly remove. So, yeah, but other than that, yeah. yeah, it is going to be a faster flash time though. That's going to be probably about a minute to two minutes. So definitely smaller, you know, uh, sections for applying it. But yeah, applications, you know, pretty pretty straightforward. Epic. So JB, 
What do uh, you yes, think sir. about this whole deal since you're just now joining us with a, yeah. a part time? Like, I said right. I'll eat the way I, I'm not excited? afraid to eat the, some hot food, man. Like if we lose, we win. I'll eat it either way. I don't care, but I am excited. Use the code KIR10. Don't use, don't use <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll make I'll I'll be such a wimp about eating the hot wings. It's oh, gonna be hilarious. I say it now, but yeah, if you want I, some I mean, hot wings, that's for if sure. we're going through the entire 10, uh, 10 challenge, then yeah, I mean. But bring it. It's gonna be Let's Rick. You ever seen that that hot one show where they eat the spicy yeah, ones? Yeah, I watched a clip of Conan O'Brien. If that's the right show, <laughs> yes, oh, I don't so. know. he was hilarious. Yeah, I, I haven't I, watched that one yet. I think my favorite was Gordon Ramsay when he brought his own lime juice and yeah. was just like squirting it in his mouth. He had all the remedies. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a good time. So if you want to participate, and uh, we're doing a giveaway at the end of this episode, we got ten more minutes. And uh, Tim's going to give away a Graphene Pro and Easy Glass kit. Links below. One of our codes, whoever you want to support. get whatever, You can get both codes. You can get either or. That kind of deal. And uh, support the cause. And Rick try out a fantastic <laughs> coding. Rick, what you got? Hi, I have a question for Tim. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Tim, so once the max is laid down, and it's been a few weeks, and my car's dirty, and I wash it, is would you use Defy or Resist? Or, or do you just let the coating exist on its own yeah it's it's up to you if you want to add a, a topper to it and you, you like that and in, to incorporate that into your detail process you I totally do. can and it's something where all of our toppers from our finish shine detail spray ceramic refresh resist will all work on that so yeah um, defy as well so it's really always love defy. pick of the trade yeah defy is really I, I like that for for drying aids too because it helps with the water spots that kind of thing but Best case scenario, cleanse, which is our graphene shampoo, and then resist, which is our, our you know graphene uh, sealant. So resist that would be that a beast. Well, since re that is yeah, resist is crazy, top. right? Like yeah, part, I did a wash clay seal with it, and it's, my lord, it's, yeah. part two it's very of slick question. and very durable. Yeah, we got a part two. Well, part two is like I have quite a few friends. Thank you, everybody. They send me products they want to see them featured. Mm -hmm. um, will will the the graphene max will that play well with other toppers from other companies or is, or is there something I need to watch out for? I don't think this coating is going to give a dang what you yeah, to throw you, on it. You can throw really battery it acid on it if you yeah. wanted to. And it's, I don't it's, think it's going to care. So, Hot yeah. dang. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy stuff. And you'll see in about a week, there's a video coming out that is going to be, put it through the ringer and you'll see that it's, it's bulletproof in terms of durability. So. So. Um, and, and in terms of compatibility with the other toppers, I mean, no no issues with harming it. Maybe some streakiness if they're not if it's not pairing well. But um, I do like to stay in the same chemistry family. So graphene with graphene, if you could, you know, mm -hmm. versus yeah. um, you know mixing and matching, but not gonna harm it. Yeah, makes sense. Well, uh, I think JB dropped out. He done, yeah. he done, he done Back flew to work. the coupon. It's back to work. But back uh, to work. yeah, Rick kicked us off with some Q and A questions. So let's get into some Q and A. Do or ask the good questions for the good people. So Before for the easy peasy, um, our version or the KR, one, whoever those guys are, um, cure time before driving, somebody was asking. Uh, yeah, 24 hours um, before it can get wet. You can drive it right away, you know, but we do recommend staying away from moisture. Uh, the reason is because the coating is, does cure with moisture. And if you get water on the surface, you have a, ri a risk of water spotting and, and potentially, you know, cause an etching of the coating. But right. um, it's not like it's going to wash off. It's just you want to prevent while, it, while the coating is fairly fresh, you know, issue of etching and water spots, things like that. Bird droppings, yeah. all those things could definitely damage the coating when it's when it's new. Well, that's yeah. what happened, I think, with the Dr. Beasley's coating on mine. A week after Alex and I did the whole process, I was out in a place called Radium, British Columbia, and there was a forest fire nearby. And for a week, my car was getting ash falling yeah, on it. And I came uh, back to town thinking it was going to clean up real nice, but there was water spotting. You know, it was it was a lot to ask for a fresh coating. It, mm -hmm. it killed me, Alex, because we put so much time into that. Yeah. And I could <laughs> see the fire falling from the sky, literally landing on my car. But yeah, yeah so... It's not something you really plan for when you're when you're laying the coating down. No, yeah. um, got to start. Yeah. Well, you got you got lie in that ash, especially if it gets wet, and it can cause all sorts of issues with it. Mm -hmm. So, um, detail made simple is just kind of mentioning that um, this is so easy that it can most likely replace your spray coatings. Which, again, like you mentioned, yeah. it's all the work ahead of time. The coating is the easy part. You know, that's yeah. that's the fast bit. God, it's fun coating your car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the icing on the cake, you know. You've done all the hard work, and it's it's the last bit that takes you all the way, and it, it's 
definitely the best part. <laughs> oh, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, Becca was asking if there's any stickers with the uh, the special edition ones. Um, there isn't, but that's not a bad idea. Maybe we should make some for, for those. We can definitely get like some. Decals? Decals. decals. That's right. Stickers. Decals. 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 Canadian friends. <laughs> yeah. I didn't decals. even know what you said. I was like, what did he say? <laughs> um, and then Aaron was asking, so don't order through Amazon only on the website? Correct. Correct. Yeah, it's only available on the website. It's not going to be available on Amazon. Um, our regular ECPs is available there, but this is strictly through website, through the links, uh, the okay. video. Yeah. And Keith was saying it's about a one-year protection. Uh, easy peasy will get you up to three years. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. But it's so easy. Like, it's a great, you can, if you're a professional, you can replace your one year coding with this coding over deliver, yeah. speed mm -hmm. up the detail. Yeah. I don't want people to, to, you know, think that because the coding is so easy to use, it's not going to perform. You know, this yeah, really is right. going to be in, in line with other ceramic codings in the market. But the real, the real, you know, sticker is that it's such an easy product to apply. So yeah. you're, you should expect really good water beating, really good chemical resistance um, and durability mm -hmm. out of it still. Mm -hmm. Oh, did that yeah. last question, was he talking about like installation stickers? I'm not sure. I, I think just like a fun put it on your cabinet sticker. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he meant like that goes in the door jam. This, this car is protected by. Yeah. Tim, do you have any of those? We typically do for our graphing bro coding. We have a warranty brochure. Um, okay. but no, it was okay. like, like door jam stickers, anything like that. Yeah, not to skip ahead, doer, but this guy had a good question DB mobile detail, and mm -hmm. he said, If Max is bulletproof, then why isn't that the pro? So, kind of, Ooh, yeah, talk that because I yeah, thought so pro much. was the pro one too. Yeah, that's why I never tried the Max. So, now, yep. yeah, walks yeah. Through. the goal of Max and they're the, the chemical makeup of Max is more tailored towards or was more designed for um, durability in terms of like chemical resistance, uh, MAR resistance, things like that. Uh, pro really we wanted someone that was going to be a good balance between water beating gloss and application so um, durability are all going to be pretty similar but max is going to edge out pro in terms of chemical resistance um, but pro is going to give you a slightly more uh, glossy shine um, slightly higher water beating and um, slightly easier install as well i, I can hear rick's thinking. gears yep. turning yep <laughs> <laughs> pro is such a breeze it's so nice yeah Mm. Yeah, pro. It's a great product. You know, they're 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 close in performance for sure. Nice. So get get your thinking cap on. That's right. Yeah. Do some Smart studying. Things, yeah, we can definitely we can pick uh, whatever, whatever one you want. Yep. Nice. Yep. All right, Dewar. And uh, Becca's asking the real tough questions. What if we order both under one code? Ooh, that is a, yeah, a good question. Um, it should apply to whatever the code is. You know, whoever's using it. So, um, the, the, yeah, it still should still work for both. It's a tough one. But yeah, you can buy both. Just go ahead and do it. Yeah. No big deal. We'll figure it out. We'll play rock, paper, scissors or something. Are we going to talk about my ethos code? Or are we just not going to... Where's your, What's yeah. your ethos code, Rick? <laughs> Rick, are you still on the internet? Plug yeah, it, where are you? I've You've been, been, I've been a little in Japan. <laughs> we don't even know what's going on, Rick. Yeah, I'll make sure. This, oh, man, I've been busy. But I got I got some exciting spring and summer stuff in, in the pipe. I'm looking for it. in there, man. everyone. Fun. Yeah, very nice. All right. Um, so, Brandon, what coating does Tim use in his packages, the Pro or the Max? Yeah, for our detail packages, we typically use in Pro on the paint um, as well as the plastics, and we use Max on wheels. Um, we use Max on lower parts of the car as well, too. So we kind of kind of piece it up in ter in terms of uh, application. Mm -hmm. um, and Mike G was saying that um, easy peasy can be used as a top coat. Can you go into the benefits of this? Yeah. So the, the polymer xylazane that's in easy peasy bonds really well to almost any substrate. So we found that in our testing that it really works well as a topper. Like I say, you want to add a coating or add some more performance to, to a coating that's out there or, and our, to, on our graphing coatings itself, you will get some, it would bond really well and you get some also additional benefits to it um, <laughs> as well. Love that. Yeah, that, that code will get you all the discounts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, DMB, uh, question for the Q&A session. In order to get 10 years out of Pro, do you recommend two coats on the vehicle or is one coat enough? Yeah, for Pro, we do do two coats for that. Okay. So in order to get the full 10-year longevity out of it. Perfect. Um, and then Becca kind of going off the, the coating train here. What's the difference between Speed Wax and Pro Wax? Pro Wax have filling properties, question mark, just curious. Yeah, so Ceramic Pro Wax is really our, our, it was one of our first products we released. It's now on our it's third version. 
Um, mm-hmm. That's going to give you the full 12 months durability. It's going to give, you know, hand application more like a paste of wax. Um, also some light filling abilities and some light scratch, uh, you know, fixing properties too. Whereas the speed wax is kind of just a spray and white product. Use it as a drying aid or use it as like a topper or as a, um, you know, spray deal, spray to deal uh, product as well. Yeah. Right. I, I was asking you about this because uh, the pro wax, I was like, so you're telling me this is all in one. I can put it on polish. Essentially. It's yeah. going to kind of do minor correction, lay down protection at the same time. And I was like, why are you calling it a wax? And you explain that that just connects to a wider audience to kind of like your, you know, mm-hmm. funny ads you do on the uh, Facebook and stuff. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's kind of, a, it's something that we, we definitely have to, to what well, we found in our testing that it works best for, for people's recognition in that sense. Yeah. I want to, I want to put a pro wax to test for sure. Cause I'm looking for a new mm-hmm. all in one that's actually going to last quite some time. So. Yeah, and our new we have a new version on the horizon that's coming out very soon, and that's really going to be, mm. I think, impressive. Ooh, yeah. mm. Looking forward to that. Yeah. There we go. But yeah, that's all the uh, the time we got for the the questions in the chat. It was a, a very active chat, so we appreciate everybody. Yep. Um, and yeah, again, Jamie question. Tan or Kr, depending on the coding that you want, um, we'd appreciate it because there is a limited supply. They're Look, someone's got to eat these spicy wings. Someone's gonna have their butt hurt, you know, real bad after this <laughs> next podcast. So as soon as one of us reaches zero, you know, that's the they will be declared the winner, and the losers will have to come on the opposing podcast, eat the spicy wings of death, <laughs> and answer some hard hitting questions. So uh, everybody, thanks for uh, coming on, uh, Tim. What you got on the way out? Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I really I'm looking forward to seeing one of you, one of the teams eating the hot wings here. We do, yeah, we do have good. a giveaway. So out of every oh yeah, 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 I almost forgot. I'm oh, glad. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a question queued up. If uh, if unless Tim had a better one, no, he's got a whoever ordered. Oh, so, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so whoever made an order good. within this yep. hour makes my list. Entered easy. into the yeah, yeah. You're on, you're on, you're off this week, dude. Oh, Perfect. Nice. So, uh, but we can ask him a question. You know, Eddie gave away a coat, and so I think I'm gonna give away a coat too. So you know what, Dewar, Ooh, pop up go. the question, ask it, and let's let's give away one of our coats too, because they already got a lead on us giving away. So a coat we uh, we doing lower 48 for the giveaway? Uh, yeah, lower 48. Okay. So you ship Canada to him. <laughs> what what food is the coating sale loser eating? There you go. If, uh, what if, are the eating? Can- Oh boy! What is Eddie and JB going to be eating? <laughs> uh-huh. hey, JB's uh-huh. excited. He, yeah, I right. could see it. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, he's ready. He's built for this. Oh man! Okay, bunch of things just came up. Looks like our winner <laughs> is holy moly X6M Ghost. Nice. The wings. There we go. Yep. Just email me at the cleaner Jamie at Gmail. Ghost is winning back and forth. Did he win on y'all's shows. podcast? Yeah. Oh, he's racking up. Then well, I'll send you a, one of our coatings. For mm-hmm. sure. Just give me your info awesome. at the email or Instagram, that kind of deal. All right, Tim. Cool. And I do out. have a winner for our giveaway for the Graphene Pro and Easy Glass Kit. Um, we have a David Vidco. Ooh, one yeah. There one you go. So where can he uh, email you? Get that info. Or you probably got his information already. So yeah, I got his info here. There you go. Or you can only sales at ethoscarcare.com or I'll reach out if I don't hear from you, David. So congrats on winning that. We'll ship it out to you uh, ASAP. There you go. He's gonna be he's gonna be stocked with his coat. He's got the glass. He's ready. Yeah, he oh. ordered he ordered both both coatings. So oh damn, oh, beautiful. He's, he's thank you. We appreciate well. that. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. JB, what you got on the way out, sir? Uh, use the code KIR10. Give him your coat. Uh, eat those car care and get yourself a coating. Uh, but you can also use Joey Ten for like another week or so at the Rag Company till my reign is over as yep. Grand Ambassador. <laughs> Been fun. Nice. That's all Rick, I got. Hit him with the plugs, Ricky boy. Well, I'm just back from Japan. I have an ethos code too. No, throw it out there for the good people. Yep. Dang. Uh, Rad Garage. All there one word. Pretty simple First, there. Yeah, it's a 10. <laughs> uh, did anyone see my Matt Mormon video? Matt I Mormon, did. That, that was awesome. I actually Let's enjoyed it, Rick. It was nice. I did one. not. No, you did not. <laughs> JB's a hater. I watched my boy. I'm definitely not going to miss yeah, Rick. On that was the, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Stuff. No, you made it very entertaining. Good stuff, Rick. I liked oh, all thanks. your choices. You, know, you gave him some uh, under the radar hitters. Yeah. You know, some trunk towels. Like yeah, the trunk some, towels uh, were the best. Yeah, some, uh, <laughs> oh, man. some good stuff. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So. I got good stories. Oh, and <laughs> just before I go, I still I, I've said this many times in different places, but Tim, the video you did with Adonis and that BMW M5 probably ten years ago, way back in the day. Yeah. Okay, that's why I do videos. Oh, heck yeah. the idea in my head. I'm like, yeah, why don't people concentrate on the beauty of car detailing more like that video? 
I yeah. stole the reverse drip from you. Ooh. Oh, nice. You did it with so I did it with foam. You take them so out. far, Rick. You've it's cool, it's cool to have inspired you. I mean, I, I really enjoy watching your videos to this day, and I, I see you going yeah. back, comment on that video every every once in a while too, man, and it brings me back yeah. to every couple of years or even days. once a year. I go, I still love this video. Yep. Yeah, it's awesome. Go check it out if you haven't checked that. It out Tim, you got us a current score at the end of the hour here, and we'll oh, get don't you embarrass them like that. Current score. I have to do the math on the on the back end. I think it's a pretty close race. Oh boy, I don't, I don't oh, have no. the exact tally yet. Um, Look, I might run outside right now, and make a video. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Start. Eddie's out to dinner, so you got an advantage. That's right. Oh, I got damn. that. He ain't got his coat in yet. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's right. Oh my god. I can run outside right now. Look at this bottle, people. Look how styling and profiling it, it is. is. I, I, I'm pretty excited that they're they're scented. I didn't Look know. It's big, dude. What what what, what are we doing here? You got to go back a little bit. This is blurred. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Me, uh, get oh, Rick yeah. out of here. There you go. Give the people what they want there. Yep. Look at that beautiful there. bottle. Go Jamie 10 to get that discounted cost. I think uh, you guys want to know who's in the lead right yeah, now? Yeah, give us this, oh give boy. us the score. Let's see what we so, got. If it's Eddie, uh, we're ending like, it now. That's right. It looks right. like the Keep It Real podcast Gosh, is dang in the lead it. right now. <laughs> so I've got, he's got about uh, eight bottles ahead of you. So. Dang. All right, people. Come on now. Get on there. Uh, Get the cleaner cast one, and we'll Eddie. see you. Eddie knew. Next he, week. he laughed, and he knew. He just, you know. He, are they all from Eddie? They're probably. <laughs> <laughs> he just signed. His, he just signed his oh, kids up for new credit cards. They're so. probably half. Yeah, over yeah. Here. They're all going to the same address. That's oh, yeah. <laughs> Pocatello. All right, everybody. We'll see you next week on the cleaner cast. Appreciate awesome. it, everybody. See you guys.